Hello everyone. In this volume 36 of the CTVS educational video series, I will be discussing three very very interesting cases of foreign bodies in adult trachea, that is a windpipe. The first case is of a 40 year male who ingested a coin, 25 pesa coin in the windpipe around 8 years back and to very very great surprise the coin was lying in the windpipe or the trachea of the patient for 8 years almost asymptomatic and then we removed it with the help of a bronchoscope as you can see here in this picture the coin can be seen in the trachea almost at the level of the carina the place where the trachea bifurcates into the right and left main bronchus so the coin is lying on the posterior wall of the trachea here in the another section of the CT scan one can see the coin in the trachea and uh, both the lungs are quite healthy even even after the coin was lying there for around eight years but the lungs were quite healthy because the airways were actually not blocked so the patient never had pneumonia in this the virtual bronchoscopy image of the same patient one can see the coin uh, in the posterior wall of the trachea and one can see here the right and the left main bronchus now we did a fiber optic video bronchoscopy in the same patient the bronchoscope is being introduced inside the trachea one can see the tracheal rings here and as we went inside up to the level of the carina we can see the coin and with each breath the coin was moving but but the coin never blocked the right and the left main bronchus the coin was covered with the debris and the pus out here but the right and the left main bronchus are very widely open now here we are uh, giving anesthesia and after giving the anesthesia the rigid bronchoscope is being introduced inside the trachea very gently these are highly advanced rigid bronchoscopes through which we can give ventilation as well as uh, the light source is there so one can visualize inside very easily the suction port is also there and 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 there is a one instrument and instrumentation port so with great precision and uh, with lot of patience and gently the once one tries to grasp the foreign body with the help of the forcep it's not successful every time so one has to be very patient and uh, one cannot be very forceful and the patient's oxy oxygenation and the uh, spo2 levels are continuously monitored as well as the heart rate the patient should be under deep sedation and then Gently, once the foreign body is grasped with the help of the forcep, the scope is uh, the bronchoscope along with the foreign body and the forcep is then slowly pulled out. In the later part of the video, I will be also discussing what are the various things by which such foreign body aspirations can be avoided. Now the coin is being removed. This is 25 pesa coin. Everyone is very happy. After that the patient was kept under anesthesia for some time and this breathing pattern and uh, saturation levels were monitored. This is second case which is very interesting uh, the patient was keeping a metallic key actually a Godrej key in his trachea for around two years. The patient ingested this after a fight he was a bit uh, psychiatric patient and he ingested the, uh, the took the key inside the mouth and the key was lying there for two years and he actually got the treatment for his cuff and 
and people thought that he is suffering from tuberculosis. So he he also got six months of ATT outside the hospital. But when he came to us, we uh, the X-ray was done, and to our surprise, the key was there, and then key was removed under direct uh, vision. Uh, first, it was located with the help of the bronchoscope out there. And then it was removed with the help of a long forcep under anesthesia. So the key was completely rusted. But this is again a very, very rare case in which the key was lying in the trachea, the windpipe, for around two, mu uh, two years. It's a long key. It's a Godrej key. And everyone, the patient's family, thought that uh, he is just joking. And Now this is the third case in which the ginger in the adult trachea. This is again a very interesting case. We thought, we never thought that the ginger will come out because patient never gave the history of it. But uh, we were not able to remove it through the bronchoscope because it was coming out in pieces. And then uh, once once we did the, uh, we have to do a tracheobronchotomy in this patient through right lateral thoracotomy, right postlateral thoracotomy, and then the ginger was removed. It was a very big size ginger and the patient took it to treat his uh, cough and cold and he uh, put it in mouth and slept in the night. And in the morning the ginger was inside the trachea. So these are some of the media publications uh, of uh, such patients of the foreign bodies in the airways. For kids, it's quite common to come, we operate uh, or we remove uh, bronchoscopic uh, with the help of the rigid or the flexible bronchoscope. A lot of foreign bodies in the airways of the kids. But in cases of adults, it's very unusual to have foreign bodies and that too lying for such a long time. Most of the time, since the cuff reflex is very strong in the adults, so patients cuff out. These are the, some of the precautions to be taken so that the foreign bodies don't enter. See, in adults, like, uh, we always say don't talk or laugh while eating food, eat small bites and chew properly, not to eat fast and drink liquid at the same time, avoid eating food in sleeping posture while watching TV, not to eat in state of alcoholic intoxication, don't keep lozenges and other food items while going to sleep. Though in adults the cuff reflex is very strong and anything that goes in the trachea is actually cuffed out, in kids, the cuff reflex is not that strong, so kids have the more tendency to ingest, uh, to take things in the airways. But these are some of the precautions that one should take, uh, because uh, foreign bodies in kids is, uh, can be highly deadly and a very high mortality also. Uh, lots of children die every day all around the world because of choking. And most of the common bodies that enter inside the kids are uh, basically some small particles, small items of the toys. Uh, the peanuts are very common. The vegetable seeds are also very common. So one should take a lot of precaution to avoid that these foreign bodies enter inside the trachea in children. So we hope you enjoyed watching this video. And uh, thank you so much.